Hi friends! Welcome to A Wonderful Sheep and welcome to this very special video where I got to visit the Magnet Cafe in Busan over the Lunar New Year holiday and I did a little bit of journaling in the cafe so you'll see that later on in the video and I finish up the spread at home but I'll let you to enjoy some of the vlog footage while I was at the cafe Imagine that this is BTS music playing in the background because they had only BTS songs playing the whole time I was there. So yeah, enjoy the footage and I will see you in a little bit when I start journaling. Before I left for Busan, I packed this stationary journaling travel bag because I really wanted to try journaling away from home, especially in a cafe. So in my last video, you saw me journaling at a cafe near Kwanganli Beach, and the very next day, I packed the same bag and took it with me to Magnet. As you saw, it is a really large space, very spacious, really cool architecture and design, and it's just so wonderful being there. I didn't think I would be as, as affected as I was, but just listening to BTS music the whole time I was there, being in the, the space that I knew, you know, had a connection to Jimini and BTS, it was just really special and I'd had a really nice time enjoying my drink. I had a almond cream latte, which is one of their signature menus, and a coffee bun. And then I just took a seat by the window at this wide bench area and I started journaling. I'm excited here right now because I'm making use of some of the papers that I had packed in my stationery stash pouch. I ripped up some purple paper because purple and then I had randomly packed these like traditional art clippings from a magazine and I used them for the borders because there were some like traditional vases on display in the cafe. I didn't read too closely about what the significance was but you saw them in the vlog footage. They were in the display case along with Jiminy's signed face albums. So that was really cool to see. Other than that, there wasn't a lot of stuff I could use from the cafe to journal with. So they didn't have, for example, like logoed napkins, which is one of my favorite things to tape in or paste into this journal is like if you have like a sort of a brown colored napkin with the logo stamped on it, I always cut it out and put it in my journal, but they didn't have the napkins, so I just taped in the receipt. And before I left, I took a little tour of the side lot and the back lot behind the cafe. And then I said goodbye to this beautiful space. And now we are back home. I just unpacked my journal bag as is, and I'm gonna pick up where I left off journaling at the cafe. I have all my supplies with me now because I'm back home in Seoul, so I brought out my BTS sticker binder and I thought I would use an OT7 sticker because the very first thing when you see when you walk into the cafe, at least for me, was there's a table full of gifts from fans, but on the bottom there's um, a photo of OT7 propped up against the table and that was the first thing that caught my eye when I walked in and it just... It gave me the feels <laughs> right right from the entrance. I started to get a little emotional. And then obviously have to have some stickers of Timin. So in addition to OT7, I picked out some print stickers that I had made from one of those like print it yourself services where you can like choose your own photos and the layout and then they send you the prints. I did a few, I don't do that too often, but back in the day I did a couple sheets back when it was like the GQ Vogue photo shoots um, where each member had their own cover. That was such a gorgeous photo shoot. So I printed a couple pictures from that. 
and I am doing some like AS on my glue sticking from the cafe. I'm the type of person who likes all of the edges and corners like very nicely glued down to the page. Like I don't like flapping edges. So I like everything to be flush and like glued right up to the edge. Then I just stuck a Jiminy freebie sticker from somewhere in this corner. I thought I would like sacrifice some of the beautiful border for some stickers. And a lot of a lot of journaling for me is just like deciding sticker placement. So through the power of mo movie magic and editing, I've edited out as much of the indecision as possible. But a lot of journaling when I look at the whole footage is me just like debating back and forth on where I should place stickers or other pieces of ephemera. So these are the stickers from that GQ Vogue photo shoot from I guess maybe at least two years ago, possibly three. Might I think it was like right before the beginning of 2022 because those magazines I think had like Year of the Tiger articles in it, so it must have been right before 2022. And because this is my doodle diary, I had to include some drawings. So I drew what I ate, that uh, coffee mocha bun and the almond cream latte. Both were very delicious. And they did say they bake everything fresh daily in their baked goods area. So um, you can rest assured that everything is fresh and delicious. And I drew one of those porcelain vases that were in the display cases as well along with a little rendition of Timini's face album. And I apologize that I look like I know that I'm doing a lot, but I'm shading with a lot of gray right here, so you can't really see it on camera. But in real life or up close, there is some subtle differences to the vase and the cup because I've added gray. And they also had a stuffed monkey with that hat that Timini wore in Bon Voyage in New Zealand, which is adorable. Uh, it was sitting right on the counter where you pay, so I added the little guy there. And then I'm just going to add some details to the spread, like adding the date. I have these Days of the Week stickers left over from a pack a couple of years ago. And then I broke out my various rubber stamp sets and my little ink pad, and also my date stamp from Daiso. And this is a new alphabet stamp set that I let myself get when my local stamp shop, Stamp Mama, had their Boxing Day sale where everything was 50% off. So I had been wanting to get a different set of alphabet stamps. So I got the like typewriter keys stamps that you see there. And then I used my brain a little bit to use the date stamp, but only the, the ninth, like the last numbers of the date to finish off that date and I just wrote a little bit about what it was like to be in Magnet. Like I told you, I was a lot more affected than I thought I would be and got choked up at one point when spring day came on and just, yeah, really got in my feels. <laughs> and I had to go outside for a little walk to like calm down. I also had packed these mild liners and I used the gray one to add some shadowing to the doodles. And using one more T-mini sticker to sort of balance out the right side with the left. And as you saw, once again, just a lot of like deliberating about angle and placement of the stickers. This is my favorite moment of T-mini I think I bought as like fan-made stickers from a seller on Instagram years ago who is no longer active but for a while before I knew that I could like make my own stickers or like basically get a lot of freebie stickers as you bought merch before I found out all that um, I bought a bunch of stickers from that seller on Instagram and I'm also using some official merch these are the stickers from Mot7 I just wanted to put a little army there to represent that you know, this was a space that's so special to ARMY as well. And then I'm just adding some embellishments with my Echo de Soul B-grade stickers. I bought these a couple of years ago when they were having a B-grade sale. 
I forget what the problem is with these. They're a little hard to like get off the page, but they look fine. They're just only slightly flawed and I don't mind that. So I bought a bunch of those on sale as well to add some shimmer and shine <laughs> to the spread. And that's it to wrap up what was a really nice morning spent in a really special place. And I'm glad I got to commemorate that in my journal. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.